In this video, we'll learn three different methods to make your text dance. Special thanks to Cho LS for the awesome idea! If you have any requests for videos, let me know in the comments! For all of these versions, I'll have my frame rate set to 7 frames per second. You can adjust this however you'd like. I'm going to grab my brush, make it a white color, and then increase the size. Then I'll write out my text. I'll get my lasso tool, and then I'll reposition this in the center. To get the jittery text effect, all you need to do is make a new frame at the bottom. Make sure your onion skin is on. If it's not, you can turn it on in the settings. And then you're going to retrace your jittery text. In jittery text, it looks a little bit better if your vertical lines are a little more wobbly, while your horizontal lines are pretty straight. As I'm tracing, I'm trying to get these lines pretty even, but don't be afraid to add some extra wiggles. Make one more new keyframe, and we're going to trace it again. The next thing I'm going to do is go into the frames viewer, click this button up top, copy, and then paste your frames a few times. I go into more detail about the frames viewer in my free course linked in the video description. Now your jittery text will last a little bit longer and you can use it for your videos. Step one, write out your text. I'm going to grab my lasso tool to reposition this text. Now that we've made our text, press and hold on the keyframe to copy and paste this five times. I'm going to grab the eraser tool and adjust some of its settings. I'm going to bring up the eraser size all the way up. And then I'm going to bring up the soft edges all the way up too. If you drag on this, it'll bring the opacity of the eraser down, and that's exactly what we want, so I'm going to bring it to around 25%. Now, the eraser is set to erase very softly and not to erase the entire text. I'm now going to erase some horizontal lines in our text. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as you go keyframe by keyframe, try to get the eraser marks in a different place. Now go into your frames viewer, and like we did before, press this button, and then copy and paste your frames. You can do this as many times as you'd like to make your animation longer. Now you can press play to preview it. This text effect really reminds me of water. I think it looks great. While this last text effect doesn't look quite as organic, I think it has a very professional look. We're going to use the type tool, tap to enter text, <laughs> and then enter your text. That font is a little bit crazy. I cannot tell what it says, so I'm going to change that. I'm going to go down and use exothin. Then I'm going to increase the size by clicking and dragging here and change the color to white. To make sure this text effect looks good, I'm going to go to my brush tool, make sure I'm painting in white, and then I'm going to make sure the size looks pretty similar to the text. So I'm going to zoom in and draw a line. That looks pretty similar, but I think that this line is a little bit thicker, so I'm going to increase this slightly. That looks a little bit too thick, let me bring it back down. And I think that looks pretty good, so I'm going to undo these strokes. Now that I know that my brush is a good size, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this three times. Now I can begin making this text look jittery. I'm going to grab the eraser tool I'm going to bring it down to 0% hardness. And then I'm just going to start erasing the vertical lines. 
You don't need to erase the entire thing, just bits and pieces where we're going to redraw the text. You can do this as subtly or as extremely as you would like. Just do whatever you think looks good. I'm going to skip ahead to our third frame, and then I'm going to do the same thing. You can now go to the Frames Viewer to copy and paste it a few times, and then return and preview your animation. This effect is definitely a little more subtle, but I think it looks great. I think I know which one is my favorite, but which one do you guys like best? Let me know in the poll. I'm really interested to hear what you guys think. I hope this helps all of you, especially Cho LS. Have a swell day.